Alaska volcano, eruption December 29th, explosion of Cleveland volcano sends ash to 5.2 kilometers, that's over 17,000 feet into the air. This is from Science Global News. Short-lived explosion detected at Cleveland volcano early December 29th, yesterday. Ash cloud was reported rising up to 17,000 feet above sea level. The aviation color code remains orange since December 12th. Seismic sensors of the area recorded a short-lived eruption at 317 UTC, December 29, 2018. The Alaska Volcano Observatory reports there was a, pirate, a pilot report that indicated ash cloud to 17,000 feet. Local winds are from the west. Explosions from Cleveland volcano typically produce relatively small volcanic ash clouds that dissipate within hours, but more significant ash emissions are possible. This is according to Alaska Volcano Observatory AVO volcanologists. The small explosion at Cleveland was also recorded by the seismic network December 8, and a small second explosion with a higher peak amplitude detected on December 12th, prompting the AVO to raise the aviation color code to orange and the volcano alert level to watch. No ash cloud was observed, though weather clouds obstructed views of the volcano. Elevated surface temperatures were visible in satellite data on December 15. Another small explosion occurred after that on December 16, and it generated a minor ash cloud that drifted northeast. Cleveland Volcano is monitored with a limited real-time seismic network which inhibits AVO's ability to detect precursory unrest, which may lead to an explosive eruption. Rapid detection of N ash producing eruption may be possible using a combination of seismic, infrasound, lightning, and satellite data. Lightning and satellite data. Worldview 3 satellite image of the summit crater of volcano collected July 10th. The 80 meter, that's 262 foot diameter circular lava flow that was extruded in late June 2018 can be seen as well as minor streams. And uh, this, uh, these are all images from USGS that we see. The geological summary, the beautiful symmetrical Mount Cleveland stratovolcano is situated in the western end of the uninhabited dumbbell-shaped Chuginadak Island. It lies southeast across Carlisle Pass, straight from Carlisle Volcano, northeast across Chujinak Pass, straight from Herbert Volcano. Cleveland Volcano is joined to the rest of Chujinak Island by a low isthmus. It's 5,635 feet. Mount Cleveland is the highest of the islands of the four mountains group and is one of the most active volcanoes of the Aleutian Islands. The native name for Mount Cleveland is Chuginadak, referring to the Aleut goddess of fire who was thought to reside on the volcano. Uh, there was also numerous large lava flows descending the steep-sided flanks. It's possible that some 18th to 19th century eruptions attributed to Carlisle should be ascribed to Cleveland Volcano. In 1944, Cleveland produced the only known fatality from an Aleutian eruption. Recent eruptions have been characterized by short-lived explosive ash emissions at times accompanied by lava fountaining and lava flows down the flanks. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. 
Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.